Logan has had a very interesting life. He was born way back in 2009. And he comes from a very long line of scientifically bred dogs that were specifically bred for certain characteristics. So you could say, in a sense, that he is a GMO dog. One of the things that's so great about Logan is that he's a great companion, and he's full of life, <laughs> love, and the pursuit of facts. <laughs> One of the things that I love about Logan is that I can give him love, and I get love back, and he doesn't talk back to me. <laughs> I don't get any feedback. I just get love back. But let's talk about what he loves. Because he is a super service dog, after all. I didn't ask you to stand. Logan works for love. He gets paid in kibble, attention, and good boys. He is an energy efficient love machine, a dropped items retriever, and a chick magnet. <laughs> What I'd like to do now is give you the story of his life as he would tell it. So he is going to telepathically tell me the story of his life, which I'm going to translate for you because he only speaks doglish. Hi, everyone. My name is Logan. I was born on July 16, 19 to 2009. I was born in San Diego, to, and after eight weeks, I was delivered to a family where an eight-year-old boy became my teacher. I had a lot of fun with him. It was a great experience. When I was 18 months old, I'm sorry, yes, when I was 18 months old, I was taken to a facility called Canine Companions for Independence. CCI taught me professionally for the next six months. Then, on August 1st of 2012, I met, 2011, I met Mark and Nancy Richards. Then, for the next two weeks, they spent a lot of time learning what I already knew. During that time, we bonded. And I know it was a short period of time, but I just felt right about him. That he was going to be the man that I was going to spend a lot of time with. When we came home, I met some other dogs in the neighborhood, and I was very anxious to play with them because I had spent those six months at CCI playing with dogs all the time. So here I was in the neighborhood, and I found a dog, a German Shepherd. Her name was Annie. She was, she was a woman. She was two years older than me, but we still had a great time playing. During the time that I'm every single day. He grooms me. He brushes my coat. He cleans out my ears. And he even will get, brush my teeth with poultry flavored toothpaste. Mm -hmm, good. <laughs> Once a week, he even does, gives me a pedicure. <laughs> and then I get a bath every two weeks. I love getting a bath. However, unlike most other Labradors and other Retrievers that I know, I don't like water. They have a pool at their house. That's their backyard. What, what, what kind of irony is that? I don't like water, I don't like a bath, but I don't like water, and they have a pool for a backyard. That's not very applicable, if you ask me. <laughs> what I'd like to do now is Give, the, give you an idea of some of the commands that I know. I know about 40 commands, and I've been taught some more. So I'm going to turn the, this presentation back over to Mark so we can demonstrate some of those commands. Okay, Logan, stand. Boy. Logan, heel. Good boys are very important to 
the sleep disorder stuff I grew up in. You know, yeah. So then, come on, come on. Come on. Really, step. Boy. <laughs> Off. Notice all my commands are one word. It makes it real easy for him to understand that when I'm stopping and I, I give his and I give his name, then I uh, give a one word command that makes it easier. If I drop something, Logan, yet. I do this happens all the time. I drop my keys and he picks it up. Look, get. Don't. Get. And, and don't is just a reminder that he's not doing so fine. Good boy. Step. Give. Good boy. Good boy. Off. Good boy. Okay. A new one. Logan. Get it. this way, side is that way. Now some of these commands, you might think, well, what, what is the purpose, purpose of that? Sometimes I'll be rolling down the street, and let's say there's a dog that's coming on that side of the street, and I don't really want him on this side. It would be easier if he was on this side. So while, we're, while I'm rolling down the street with him, I can say, heel, he'll quickly come over here, and not necessarily sit, we're still going. But this way, he'll be out of, be out of the way of the dog's line of sight. So, in conclusion, he is a super service dog. He is highly trained. He, with the vest on, he knows that he's working. With the leash on, he still knows that he's working. If I were to take both these off, he would run around and play, and he'd be just like any other regular dog. But with the, with the leash, and by the way, if you notice, this leash has little prongs on it. It doesn't hurt him. In fact, they have very little healing in their skin and over small areas. So it's just that he knows it's there, and if I issue a command, a don't command, and I pull on the leash, then he'll know that he can stop. So that is Logan's story, and that is why he is a super service dog.